اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء الحمد لله ولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أرشف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعد أحب في الله من was created in anxious man worries too much when his heart is tight and he's overwhelmed by worry he doesn't know that how to overcome the worries what to do and what are the signs that his worry is going to overcome from his worries this is the clip i'm going to do the signs you know that victory is there Man was created anxious. Allah says in the Quran, "Inna al-insana khulqa halua." I created man in anxious. And Allah says again, "Laqad khalaqna al-insana fi kabad." Man was created in hardship. So man will find it hard in this life. So, but there's always a sign there that the victory is here, or the victory is coming, or the victory has already landed. What are these signs? This is a video. for it Allah Rabbul Izza test the individual and the individual he sees himself all the doors are shut there is absolutely no door which is open and he's stranded anywhere he is either in his home in his job in his his doors are shut and he doesn't know what's happening Allah says in the Quran in surah al-shuara Bani Israel when they fled they went on the banks of the sea and there was no way out for them in the back Pharaoh la'natullah was coming with his army and in front of them there's a sea what do they say inna lamudrakun indeed we will be overtaken Musa alayhi salam was among them what did he say kalla nay indeed my Lord is with me and he will guide me or will save me. Look at Bani Israel. They knew that the doors are shut. And that is when the Allah has saved them that time. So when you see the doors are shut for you, no way out. You've tried everything. That is when Allah will save you. You have the feeling, you're looking, you're looking with a different eye and you see nothing is there. That is when Allah Rabbul Izza will save you. Number one. Number two is when you are overtaken by grief, pain. That is when Allah will save you. Allah says in the Quran, Ya laytani mittu qabla hadha. She says, I wish I've died before this. Who says that? Maryam alayhi salam. When she was going in the agony of bath and everything. She says, قالت, Ya laytana mittu qabla hadha. Yeah, I wish I've died before this. Who? Oh, Maryam alayhi salam. She was going through grief of pain and everything. And Allah sent rescue there and then. So when you are going through grief, pain and everything and you looking where is the way out illness after illness no way out that is when Allah sends his victory sign number three is when your heart is attached to Allah muallakun up tied towards Allah Rabbul Izza That is when Allah will save you. You know deep down Allah will never left you, leave you alone. You know deep down Allah will help you. You know deep down that Allah is going to save you. Ibn Abadi al-Sayrafi al-Baghdadi, he was a rich man in Baghdad during his time. He did a business. He's a businessman, so he's doing his business morning buying and selling and finished and in the evening he went home and have a nap around midnight 11 o'clock 12 o'clock he gets a dream and says get up and he walks up and checks 
the what's going on and goes back to sleep. And then the second time he goes to another dream, say, get up, take your horse and go. And he looks, he gets up and looks. Then what's going on? And goes back again to sleep. It didn't take the, that long. He gets another dream and says, get up and get, take your horse and go until where the horse stops. And he gets up and takes the horse and goes. The horse goes and stops in front of the masjid. He gets down and he goes inside the masjid and he found a man crying towards Allah Rabbul And he waits for him until when he finishes. And he asks him, what's going on with you? And he says, I don't have nothing. My children, my wife, everybody is dying with hunger. So I came here to ask my Lord. And he gave him 100 dinar. And he told him, my name is Ibn Abbadi al-Sayraf al-Baghdadi. If you need me, you know where to find me in town, so, so place. And he says, my friend, I don't need you. I need the one who brought you here. Allah Rabbul Izza. I need the one who brought you. Allah Rabbul Izza. Nobody else. So sign number one is when you see that all the doors are closed. No, the victory is there. Number two, when you are grieving and to pain and everything. An illness, the victory is there. Sign number three, is your heart need to be fully attached towards Allah Rabbul Izzah and the victory will come there by Allah Rabbul Izzah. Stay tuned for more victory signs. Abu Yahya from the Rukhato wa akhru da'wana wa salaman ala al-mursal wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.